Welcome to the RP Show, episode number eight, with me, Steve Johnson, and me, the two like me. So, Mike, what have we got going on in this special episode? Well, Steve, we are going to surprise four of our subscribers. <laughs> this is going to be so awesome. Right, everybody, this is a very, very, very special episode. And what's about to happen is something quite different for YouTube. So Mike and I have been running a secret competition that we haven't told anybody about. And only me and Mike know about its existence. And the competition is only for our YouTube subscribers. So four of our lucky subscribers are going to win a competition that they didn't enter and didn't know was going to happen. So in a minute... Mike is going to pull four names out of a hat and those four people are going to get a golden ticket from Steve and Mike for a prize. So, Mike, over to you. Do you have the names all wrote down of our subscribers? Actually, I'm going to do one better. I'm going to go with, you know, since we're used to using voiceover and we were just mentioning in our one of our previous episodes, so I have actually compiled all of our subscribers into my phone here and I've turned the voiceover function on and I'm going to just boom tap my screen and and boom we'll see who, who it selects and we'll take it from there okay sounds random typical to be at maniac no All right so no we thought go. through process whatsoever so let's nope. let's see it then come here on we go hopefully you can actually hear it on, on their end but here we go closing my eyes looking for the screen Tapping the screen. <laughs> oh, here. Kate George, show more items. Menu Kate, item. I, no. Kate Giorgio. Kate. Uh, Kate. All right. Kate, Kate who? Kate. Kate Giorgio. Kate Giorgio. So Kate. You Giorgio. are the first winner, Kate. So Kate Giorgio. I hope you're watching this episode. If you are watching this episode, um, stay tuned and definitely get in contact because you have won a golden ticket. Boom. Right, next up. Come on, Mike. Who's next? All right, ready. Here we go. And contestants. Title. There's contestants. No. Green Spoon Girl. There. Miss Bell. Green Spoon Girl. Green Spoon Girl. Green Spoon. Oh, she um, regular. I'm glad she's won. She 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 comments loads and loads on our stuff. That's awesome. Um, Green Spoon Girl. If you watch this episode, if you see this show, please DM us for details. And can you tell us why you're called Green Spoon Girl? That is a, a really interesting uh, YouTube handle. All right, here's number three. Let's see who it's going to be. Green Spoon Girl. Nope. Christine Berryessa. Yeah, there we go. Christine yeah. Berryessa. Yes, uh, awesome. Right. You have won a golden ticket. Get in touch. She's actually a very big, uh, I'd say, supporter of ours. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised she came up in the list because she's commented on a lot of our videos. She's, you know, quite often comments. And um, so, yeah, I'm um, I'm glad that she's come up. That's really good. That's cool. Yeah, very good. Very good. All right. We're here. Last, Last one. one. Last one. Number four. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? All right. Here we go. Here we go. William Hurlbrink. Ah, William Hurlbrink. William Hurlbrink, excellent. Uh, I think I remember him. Was he one of the subscribers that commented quite a funny RP joke? Was that him? Uh, yeah, I believe so, yeah. Didn't he, put, he put the joke on about, I'm sure he think... put a joke on about the guy dog in one of our comments. I'm sure that's him. Anyway, William, if you see this episode, please get in touch. You have won. Okay, so we have announced the four golden ticket winners. They are subscribers to our YouTube show. But the question is, what does a golden ticket mean? And what do you get for this golden ticket? Now, it's not a gimmick. You are getting a very, very good prize that Mike and I are paying for. And we are going to ship to you wherever you are in the world. But Mike, I'm still trying to build the suspense here. I still don't really <laughs> want to tell him. Should we, um, should we tell them now or should we transfer to the secret location number two? Yeah, I think we need to uh, do a little wardrobe change and change the location. 
Little okay. Top secret, I think. So, guys, call me those. Woo! Oh, oh, you made look it. Look at all this good stuff in here, Mike. And welcome. Here we are in our basement store, our location. Oh. So, time to tell the uh, golden ticket winners, Mike. You're probably all wondering what the hell is this and where are we? As you can see, me and Mike are in a secret basement location. And you lucky people that have won a golden ticket, um, your ticket can be redeemed for any of our products absolutely free of charge. We have got T-shirts, hoodies, leggings, vests, um, and you can pick any of them absolutely free worldwide shipping um we will post them out to to the winners i guess we should start to just uh talk through some of these things and explain like what they are and the meanings behind them absolutely we're very excited to bring it to you guys let's go okay guys so we've got three exciting ranges we have the cane font range the incognito range and the random range so mike let's tell the people all about the, the the cane font range so talk us through you know what is the cane font design what you know tell, tell us all about it well it all started obviously the uh the cane is a very big thing in our world and uh so i took a cane and i brought it into illustrator and then i basically broke it apart and which had then allowed me to make you know different letters so you know we kicked it off by for instance, the one you're wearing was one of the first designs that we did. It says, just do it. And underneath it says, use your cane. So simple message, you know, because a lot of people always, you know, battle that portion of their lives. But the cane says, just do it. Use your cane. And uh, then we I, broke I it love, away from I love there. this one, Mike. I think, well, didn't we say this was sort of inspired by, was it episode two where we talked about using oh, yes, the cane yes, for the first yep. time? And the yep. whole, the whole switch over it, coming out. Cane. Yeah. Brilliant. And and you've paid you you've hand drawn all of these, haven't you, Mike? And you've paid particular attention. You've got the roller ball. Yeah, we got the wall, I got the handle, and then it's the, obviously just the look, you know, the regular just cane, straight cane pieces and stuff like that. Uh, but yes, every letter, like I said, was totally just broken apart and formed. So talk by hand the slogans, Mike. Make, you know, to make them. Um, we got banging and clanging. <laughs> Under underneath there it says into into benches. So that could be a fun one for uh, you gym goers um like i said we got we got a brave we got confident we got determined because these are all kind of feelings that we all we should all be uh getting behind you know when we uh especially start embracing the cane you know um because people feel you know a little shy about it and then obviously just do it we just explained that one uh and i think what else we oh and hangry which was a uh, one a good one by uh by steve and we all we've all been hangry <laughs> You've been hungry, right? Uh, like, <laughs> and uh, we've got more slogans to come, haven't we? I believe for, for the cane font series. So watch this space. More on that to come. But that's the first range, the cane font series. Yeah. Hey, serious question though. Do my pecs look big in this. <laughs> look huge. You look, you look swole, as we would say. Am I swole? Here. You're swole over here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The next one is what we call the incognito range. And the basic concept is um, we, have we have designed a, a range of T-shirts that are like the one you see that Mike's wearing here. They are a Braille font that is typed onto the shirt. And the reason we've called it the incognito range is technically nobody should ever be able to read that shirt um, because if you... Um, if you can read Braille, then generally you can't see. And if you can see, you can't read Braille, hence the concept of incognito range. So the first one that Mike has on, and I have one here also. No, no. <laughs> Seeing through. Uh, <laughs> I, I have one with a hole in the middle, apparently. Uh, Steve, what does this say? Uh, this one this one's, uh, actually says... <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> we thought that was absolutely hilarious and uh shout out to anna because that was actually anna's idea his wife and uh yeah. so we were like one. yes that's ingenious obviously we have one that has rp this is rp in it uh actually i have one i have the rp one right over huh 
I have a tank top version. That says RP in Braille. So the one so, you're wearing says you, you. the wet floor <laughs> sign. And uh, the one you just held up, that one just says RP, B. but it's in Braille. We also have a catchy slogan that goes with the incognito range, which is, if you know, you know. A lot of people walking by might not be able to read what this is, but you guys might, you know, most of you will know what it says. So that's the beauty of the shirt. The shirt's for you not really for anybody else you know a lot of people wear shirts and it's you know for other people this is something like you know you can be proud of you know what it says but nobody else does and uh next up we have a kind of a i guess we call it a random series or a, uh, i didn't come up with this uh steve how did you what was the idea behind this okay so you can see on the wall behind mike and there's one on the wall behind me here and um, this one is a quite a cool concept it's kind of a play on the evolution of man. It's kind of a call out to episode number three. Um, and it's all about the evolution of people with RP, the wet floor sign, and a bit like the evolution of man. So you can see in the first image, the guy's like falling over the wet floor sign. The second image, you've progressed a bit with your RP. You're now aware of wet floor signs. You're looking out for them constantly, but you do still knock them over but you're not as unaware as you were at first when they just used to catch you by surprise. And the second guy is, you know, Boom. a bit more on the lookout for him. And then finally, the last guy is now using a cane and hopefully is detecting quite a few of the wet floor signs. So that was kind of the, you know, the gist of the play on the evolution of man plus the cane, cane usage, wet floor sign. And that's how we came up with the, the cane man. Uh, now this will go in our random range where we've got other designs and stuff going in. But this just gives you an idea of the type of things that are available in the random. No, I love that. Uh, I thought that was great. I enjoyed it. Uh, when you gave me the idea to do it, it was really cool. I like that. It makes, uh, makes a lot of sense. Um, now, Mike, we need to talk about the, the four people that have won. So you guys that have won, hopefully you see this episode. Hopefully you've seen your names called out. You yeah. need to direct message us. So, Mike, I feel I feel bad. Like we've we you know we're bigging this all up about the four subscribers because you know them for one. Yeah. Um, you know we've you know it's brilliant. Big thank you from us for competition, giving away free stuff, a competition that nobody had to. They did, yeah, they didn't even know they were anything. in. <laughs> None of this. Like, yeah. share, and subscribe to win our t-shirt. None of that. We just like we don't rewarded, like that. It's not us. Just rewarded our subscribers, but but Mike, only four of them. What about everyone else? Surely we should do something for those guys. Yeah, but what should we do? Maybe, uh, I think, what about a nice little 25% discount code, you know, for the first week here? What do you think? I say two weeks. Two weeks. For everyone watching this video, for the next two weeks, two 25%. Two weeks, all right. We'll put the code in the video now. RP show 25. So if you're watching this video, you're one of our subscribers. You are entitled to 25% off anything. Yep. Hoodie, the expensive anything. hoodies. Whatever it is, 25% team. off. Boom. Just enter that code in. 25% discount code for our subscribers only. So we're not putting on social media. We're not putting it on um, any of our posts or anything like that. The only people that are going to see that discount code are you guys you watching guys. this video. Hey, I'll tell you what, Mike, I'll be interested to see, given the fo just you know the four winners, Theirs is completely free, so they could pick the most expensive item in the store. Yeah, absolutely good. The cheapest item in the store. Um, if I was them, I'd just pick the most expensive. <laughs> Get a hoodie. <laughs> but all joking aside, <laughs> I will be interested to see what people pick. Will they pick the cane man? Um, will they pick the <laughs> you wet floor sign? Little wager, come on, we're going to put you on the spot right now, Mr. Tubiak. What do you think is going to be the most popular one that the guys all pick right. for free? I'm going to say... Actually, I'm going to go with you. I'm going to say it's going to be a few wet floor sign or it's going to be brave. What are you banking on? I think, I think the FU wet floor sign, <laughs> yeah. I think that could be popular. Although with my poor vision, it does look like a slice of cheese with some holes in it. <laughs> Maybe not. Uh, <laughs> or, or, or I also think the cane man is fairly universal. People might feel like quite happy wearing that out and about. Right, that'll just about do it for this week, folks. Just a big thank you 
to every one of you. Yeah, I've got to say, Mike, like, you know, we were inspired to do this competition and give away these this, these completely free products and pay for the shipping ourselves. But like some of the comments that we've had have really been like inspiration, haven't they? You know, like 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 the winners. Oh, absolutely. Who have won who have won this free, free golden ticket. Like some of the comments like about people's sons with RP or people's daughters or and I also think, I don't know if you think this, but I always think like when somebody comments on one of our videos, like they've probably got like pretty bad RP yet commenting probably not that easy because it's not. Oh, no, easy right. For yeah. Me. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I think, you know, that's really good if they've took the time to like comment on a video, um, no, awesome. which is really, really cool. So, so guys, subscribers that are watching this and um, thanks for subscribing. That is why some of you have won a free golden ticket and why the rest of you have won a 25% discount code. And who knows, maybe me and Mike, as we embark on other little side projects that we've got cooking up, hopefully we will continue to always give back to our subscribers and the RP community. So Mike and I will see you next week. See you next week for episode number nine. I just not speaking yet. I just not speaking. Why is my voice over?